This video is primarily for the US intelligence community, although it is applicable to other world governments as well. Some of you will have been briefed on the reality that aliens are visiting us. A subset of you will have been briefed on their agenda. For those of you that don't know, several ET groups are taking people against their will and creating a hybrid species to occupy and control this planet. In addition, there are people who disappear and never return. Some of you may have heard of the researcher David Politis and his 411 cases. Some of these inexplicable disappearances will be covered in his research. In addition, we also have the phenomenon of animal and human mutilations. It's taken me a while to work out the alien agenda. Fortunately, I came across the writings of Marshall Vine Summers and his detailed description of ET activity on Earth, which seemed to mirror the data. Even if you put all that data to one side, you still have the fact that the phenomena has been with us for over 70 years and still hasn't told us its agenda. That's a big red flag in my books. So you have a situation where some of you know what's going on and some of you don't. Those that don't need to educate themselves. Now the fly in the ointment is that these critters are strong in the mental environment and are able to pacify certain people. So a kind of psychic barrier is created whereby they are unable to look objectively at their activities here and arrive at the conclusion that these beings are nefarious. You might have noticed it with some of your colleagues. It also occurs with many famous contactees. The beings talk of ascension being here to help us, advance and other bullshit. It's all a con. So what needs to happen? Well, essentially, you need to carry on with the programme of disclosure, but the activities of these beings need to be outed. The longer you leave it, the more beings will arrive and greater their pacification of human population will be. I understand you want to keep traditional power structures in place, but the other fly in the ointment is climatic change, which is going to cause huge chaos in the world. Coastal cities being flooded is one example of what will be happening. I mentioned the writing of Marshall Vine Summers earlier. His son Reed is an excellent orator on the ET situation here. His most recent interview was on UFO Hub. As Reed alludes to in part of the interview, some of the intelligence community have contacted Marshall Society in the past. Well, they are certainly open up to further communication from you if you have any questions or queries. The clock is ticking.